Yeah, I just started this one. I'm just gonna say all praises to Yahweh. By Shum Yahweh Shai, by Shum Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, a great millstone. Shalom to all you brothers teaching this gospel across the four corners of the earth. Oh shit, who got that? You going over there? We going to these fucking half stepping Israelites. You don't want to do the work. Just do that. I'm tired of these motherfuckers. We might as well just start off with that uh, that revelation. The hot and cold. Yeah, because we had what? We had like a few people that was coming out here for a couple weeks, right? And we used to have uh, all kind of people in our camp going back years ago. Where the hell are they at now? Nobody wants to keep doing the work. Always got an excuse. Hell, they might even try to blame you for them falling out. You notice that, how they do that? It's like it was my fault you fell out. Revelations 3 and 10, it says because, oh, it's like not 3 and 10, what is it that? 3 and 16, oh, 3 and 16, something like that. It's uh, Revelations 3 and 16. Or it might be 15 or somewhere around there. Oh yeah, 15, it says, right from the start 14, it says, um, to the angel uh, of the church of the uh, last Williams, right, I pronounce that right. but these things say, uh, say the amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of, cre of the creation of God, I know that works, and that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that I would thou work cold or hot. See then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Yeah, so you supposed to be uh, you supposed to be on fire with the truth. Like you had uh, what's that guy's name, Roscoe, that was out here. I don't know his name, but he was he came out here. Uh, what was that two weeks ago? Wasn't it? This guy came out here acting like he was gonna come out here teaching. Came out here one time. He was on fire yelling at people, reading scriptures. But where is he at now, you know? Came out here with an NIV Bible. He didn't have the right Bible, thought he had the truth. But that's just a small example, man, because you know, a lot of you people out there, y'all don't want to do the work, man. Y'all got no kind of consistency. You gotta be consistent with teaching this truth. You gotta do it, you know what I'm saying? Every you gotta be in the truth every day, not just on the weekends, not when you feel like it. You supposed to be on fire with the truth. A lot of y'all is weak though. Y'all got that weak ass spirit. Like I said, we used to have all kind of people in our camp. Like I said, in the past five years, this is the only brother that stayed in the camp. What do you think about that, man? No, weak as hell out here. Y'all afraid to do the work of the Lord. Uh, Luke 9 Luke 9 and 50 I'm going to start at uh, I'm going to start at 57 It says And it came to pass that as they went in the way A certain man said unto him Lord I will follow thee Whithersoever thou goest And Yahweh said unto him Foxes have holes And birds of the air have nests But the son of man hath not where to lay his head And he said unto another Follow me he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. And how shy it said from to him, let the dead bury their dead dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of God. That means that looks like the moon. Don't give a fuck the mom and dad drop dead. You don't give a fuck to go to the funeral. No. You know? You really don't. It's going to be a funeral morning for when they when they in peace then now, you know? Yeah. They mourning for us here. Yep. So people don't want to understand it. You know? They totally black the fuck out. Like you said, uh, that lukewarm shit, the scripture of Revelation, man. That's the worldly Israelites, man. They still stuck in the world, man. They still try to cling on to the shit the world, and they don't want to let it the fuck go, man. You know? I hate them. You gotta, yeah, you have to hate the world, you know? And the things that are in it. That's that black woman. The I mean, things that are in it. The black woman. 
Because you got all these people. Out. Their wits cost this black woman. I'm my fault, but you see how many people we done talked to out right here who know, they know they Israelites. You know, they, they claim like they know all the scriptures. But where are you at teaching, man? Y'all ain't making no videos. They don't even make home videos. <laughs> you know, they don't, they don't do nothing with it. They take the truth and keep it to themselves. Damn, just re-upload some shit, man. Yeah, just re-upload. They don't even do that. Yeah, re-upload the elders videos. They don't even do that. That's too much work for them. You know, I mean, you're, you're up, you're, work, you're working. At that least is, you're working. That is work, though. Re-upping. Yeah, yeah. Re-upload the Hey, that's show. actually what I started doing when I first started. Back in the day, I found some of the I was like, oh, these videos are fire. They're going on my channel. And I got, I think I got my channel to leave, too. <laughs> What else you got? It says, uh, uh, verse 61, it says, Another also said, Lord, Lord, I will follow thee, but let me first go bid them farewell, which are at my, at my house. Oh, yeah, that's what a lot of people say. Like, I'm going to go do the work with y'all. I'm going to follow the Lord and do the work. But first, I got to get my life together. I got to go do this. I got to take care of this. You know what I mean? I always got excuses. Like, oh, next week, next week. I always trying to put it off. It don't work that way. The Lord comes first. Whether you like it or not, the Lord comes for your fucking children, your family, your job, yeah, your I... job. <laughs> Shit. That's why a lot of motherfuckers told my my job is done. Them dude always goes to us. He can't come out. He can't work with us because his bank he working right there. Oh, yeah, we said cool dude. He acts cool. Yeah. Heavy said dude. His job is the bank right there. Oh, oh okay. So he said he remember he was, he was in the store. Yeah. He was like I can't come out with you guys because my job is right there. My job right down the street too. Colder right there. Remember, dude said my they colder right there, man. You know my job. We done. <laughs> where we've been out here before. You out here cussing out people that'd be at my my job. Right. Now, I'll be over here like. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know though. I, but I don't even care though. Know, I don't. Yeah, I don't give know. a fuck. I still would have done it though. If it happens, though, it happens. I still would have done it, right, right? I don't care. Because that's the spirit, man. That's the spirit. You want to come down to it? Hey, the truth is more important than my raggedy ass job. I'm sure, Lord will give you another job. Yeah, it is. And again, the Lord blacks people. He does. The Lord blind these motherfuckers' eyes. They don't see shit in anyway. It's like it's obvious Clark Kent is Superman, yeah. but then no nobody knows. Right, right. He put, a, you know, all he had is some glasses on. <laughs> he had his glasses. You know what I mean? Yeah, all he had was fucking glasses. Like they didn't know who Robin was. All he had on was a little mask. You know what I mean? <laughs> but that's how the Lord do us when we out here. He went, they don't even recognize you half the time. That's them Asians. That's good. Go ahead. There's somebody else that believes in this besides me. No, that's coming. Besides you? The mark of the beast? Yeah. You believe you in this? smaller flyers and this stuff? No, nah, no. Nah. We got the internet. There's information all over the internet. You can you can search, you can Google it. All over the internet. You type mark of the beast in the internet. Right. Yeah, look, it's showing the shit. They do that, like, uh, break down the cash with all them damn cards already a long time yeah, ago. Yeah. You ever heard of uh, biometrics? No. But, well, you know, um, the eyes, they scan your eyes. Yeah. And, uh, like, the yeah, prints. They got the new iPhones. You can't even, uh, get on your phone without the eye scan. Look, it's the eye scan. See that right here? That's my thumbprint, goes right here. Yeah, the thumbprint. Right. I love it that way. Right. Uh, that's all part of that technology. Yeah. What's well, coming in? Start doing that? Oh, they've been doing it. They're doing it now. They're doing it now? Right. I had a government security clearance, like, you know, with the red badge. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Plant. Right, they my brother. You in the red badge, my brother. You in the beast computer. Okay. Europe. You know about computer. that, right? Right, right, right. And that's something to do with that crap, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got everything. Oh, yeah. It's all no, part of the same system. Coming. What's coming? Go ahead. I know you got What's coming is uh, it's going to become mandatory. You know, mandatory. I mean, right. You ain't you right. have no choice. You know, or like either you have you that go, number. Right. They're, well, it's an actual implant. It's an actual implant. Oh uh, yeah. You That's know? when they're gonna start really getting Oh, it's what? Oh you, man, you that coffee's so good. Oh yeah. Who's he? They're antichrist. Uh, there, there's there's many antichrists. Uh, no. That's the world teaching that there's well, one I mean, antichrist. Okay. Listen, let me. I'm trying to teach you something. Listen, the world teaching there's one antichrist. But according to the Bible, there's many antichrists. If you're against the Lord, you're like antichrist. Like a Catholic priest, which I hate to say that, but that is like a three-fourths of the population that don't believe in Jesus, the Son of God, yeah, and turn people against them. There's 
whole lot of them. He had all the power. <laughs> I don't know what. I mean, they thought Adolf Hitler was one of those guys. Yeah, it's a, it's Hitler, was a Trump. Trump. Hitler was a Rothschild. I'm worried about yeah. Trump. You know, you hear me? Hitler was a Rothschild. He uh, was a he was a Roth. You know who the Rothschilds are? They're a banking family. Oh really? They're, who controls the earth? Isn't that isn't that like Trump? No, Trump is just <laughs> he a, works for a the welfare Rothschild. banker to them. He's a welfare He's banker. He's a welfare banker. Now. He's literally, seriously. Just like them billionaires look at us like pieces of garbage. The trillionaires look at people like Trump like a piece of garbage. That's why he ain't gonna release his tax where, where, information. Where'd you get that picture <laughs> right. of you know, kind of right. You ain't where'd lying, man. Oh, the I want to show you this stuff. Well, the implant, like, that implant's coming. A lot of companies now in the United States are requiring their employees to get the microchip implant. Jesus, that, that, God. That's beautiful. They can't get into their job without, because soon, you ain't going to be able to buy anything at a grocery store without that chip. Star. You won't even be able to pay your bills without the chip. No, what the fuck is this? Is that, the, is that it right there? Yeah, that, that's an enlarged image. I mean, they got newer updated ones, but they got a chip about the size of a grain of rice. It's called BioBand? What is it? There's a it's bunch of different ones. Yeah, it's a microchip. You got RFID chips and NFC chips. Man, I would love to have ones. a copy of all this shit. You well, have no... You got Man, it's all on the internet. Just look up oh, uh, RFID internet. microchip. You don't have a phone? No. But I'm what you doing without get a phone? Everybody, you get free phones. Uh, but they don't... Yeah. <laughs> I keep losing them. You, you was uh, locked up doing Obamacare? Doing Obamacare? Uh, <laughs> doing what Obama's? is it called? Vera Chip? <laughs> yeah, well, that's, yeah, that's, that's one of them. Is that what you go under? What yeah, do you but, go under? If I was, get, just get on the internet, just type in RFID microchip. Yeah, what is it? RFID microchip. Check this out. RFID. Who was that? Was that Joe yeah. Biden? Oh, was that Joe, yeah, Biden Joe Biden that said y'all gonna oh, vote on this? Yeah, they're gonna vote on it. But believe me, during your time or something like that, y'all gonna vote on this. But here's Trump. RFID. Hope y'all can hear oh, this. Oh, yeah, Trump said something about it? Oh, he spoke loud about oh, it. I didn't hear it. Listen, listen. Uh, oh yeah, that's you hear the crowd? Yeah, yeah. Like RFID microchip? Yeah, RFID. And also NFC chips. It is what? NFC. But uh and also type in, you know, human uh Here? implantable microchip. Listen, listen, listen. Trump said the, about these politicians <laughs> said they are all talking, no action. Talking about the RFID chip, this technology coming in. Yeah. He said he te these politicians are all talk and no action. So Trump is going to guarantee this trip, this chip will come in and become mandatory. See, I told it's you. Gonna be him. It's, it's going to be him. It's going to be him. He's already doing it. You're right, Lord willing. But he's oh, already doing. He's in motion. But I've seen the world moving towards that effort anyway. Yeah. yeah. Every country, every continent. Every continent. Yeah, sure is. So, yeah. You know what? Domino effect. Domino effect. Yeah. It's exactly. right. You got to do it now yourself a little bit, long enough to see. Find out. Over here, Who that? Don't just be looking over here with your bug out eyes like all, like they see some gift. I've seen all you know, that. They, see, they see some entertainment like, come on over here. Get some. It's like Gucci. Man, that is I wish I could see this wild. Gucci, man. <laughs> that shit wild. Thank you. All right, dude. Yup, yup. Oh, I'm gonna take a look at her teeth. That's a crazy chick, bro. Yeah. She's, uh, she that's the time we live in. That's the time of the Great Awakening, man. They receiving some of this message, but not all of it. Yeah, they just want to... They support me, like what we're talking about. Well, they about. get happy because, oh, I know about that one thing. Oh, I'm not going crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not crazy. <laughs> but yeah, Trump. Uh, politicians, what did he say? Damn, I wish I had a, I wish I had my speaker out here with me, man. I want this to be heard. In Trump's mouth. I gotta start bringing that thing. So, that's I, got, a good I got a real idea. little one. I got a real little oh, one. Oh, you know what? I got a real little one, man, but uh, who the hell is it at? It might be in the channel truck. What we got right here? I ain't paid to use that thing in so long. It's a speaker. For real? If, it, if it's got any juice in it, it's a battery charger and a speaker. I just saw a bright ass light on it. Oh, it's got a flashlight on it God, too. Damn. I got this from that crackhead out here. Bluetooth is ready to pass. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, shit. Damn, come on, baby. Let's see if it got some juice in it. I don't know if I charge it in a minute. Bluetooth. Okay, shh. I don't know if you know it was that loud. I've never used it really. 
Oh, your boy gone on them skates. You know what's name? I have no idea. No, it's look, not JBL. Let me uh, turn it off. That's my big speaker. I got a big ass. I, I got a big one. Big one. I have no idea what this thing is called. Uh, iTech? I don't know. Uh, Vic, Venture Pro? I have no fucking clue. Uh, it says iTech back here. Wireless speaker. Yeah, it is Venture Pro. Parent. See if this works. I don't know Woo! if it got enough juice in it though. I use it for a flashlight mainly. That motherfucker bright as hell. Man, the most hard is gonna shove this shit. Oh, there it go. I heard it. Damn, that shit banging. That's that? my jam. That's my Herbie man. Oh shit. That's we my got, Herbie man. That's it. I'm going hard hey, with it. Where am I at? Where am I at? Trump. That shit made me want to fucking go, like, start painting or something. Yeah, Herbie Man, man. Herbie Man. If the politicians are all talked to three, we will finally complete the biometric entry exit visa tracking system, which we need desperately. Well, that's it. He said, which, we use it? He said yeah. which we need desperately. Because they're going to use the excuse like this is going to help control immigration. You know what I mean? Cause you know the passports already have RFID chips in the passport. Mm -hmm. They've always had. Yeah, long play that. Oh, play that shit again. Long time. Congress is required biometric entry exit visa tracking systems, entry, exit. but it has never been completed. The politicians are all talk, no action. Never happens. <laughs> never happens. Hillary Clinton, all talk. Unfortunately, when there is action, it's always the wrong decision. Do you ever notice? <laughs> in my administration, we will ensure that this system is in place. And I will tell you, it will be on land, it will be on sea, it will be in air, we will have a proper tracking system. Approximately half of you illegal immigrants came on temporary visas and then never ever left. Why should they? Nobody's telling them to leave. Stay as long as you want. We'll take care. And actually, that's a bunch of political bullshit because Obama was pushing for the microchip. Don't get your chip when it comes out, man. Oh, well, microchips. No. Hey, y'all know your Israelites, What about when you get hungry, though? Your niggas know your Israelites, though? Y'all say, your niggas know your Israelites, though? It's the only way you can talk to them. They, they hear that, man. Oh, you can't. Your niggas know your Israelites. You ain't a nigga no more once you come to Israelite, right? That's, that's low on me. <laughs> that's what I'm going to read 12 and I'm going to 13, Revelation. Uh, Revelation 12. And uh, start 12, I'm gonna start at 11. It says, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell therein. For woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. It's beautiful, man, because things are starting to speed up, man. This prophecy is starting to speed up, man. And part of the prophecy is this devil has come on us, man. That's all slow, that what he's what he described as a fucking flood, man. Yep. You know? Running out of time, so let me get these motherfucking niggas out of here. And it's mine. You know, but Jake, them devil, he saw no we the Israelites, right? He saw no we the Israelites. They definitely know. Right, so he gonna he gonna commit a mass suicide. Like the other day, man, the dude worked for um, he was a uh, a post he, no, he was a government um, he worked for the post guard, him motherfucker killed his family. I see that. He took shit. his own self out too, yeah. man. And you, you see know, that other woman killed her whole, killed her children. Did you see that? Nah, well, I see a bunch it of them. A woman. I don't know. She's a rich lady. See a bunch of them. She fucking, she killed them all in their beds. Just put like Damn. 35 rounds a piece in them. Woo! Wee. They killed herself. So something going on, man. But the that's, demons getting their head. Yeah, that's a spirit word. A time of desperation or something, you know? Yeah. That's suicide. But that's what he, that's pretty much what Esau's doing, man. If he can't have this kingdom, if he can't have the promise, he gonna commit a mass suicide, man. He's a goddamn fool, man. He knows that he has but a short time. He knows it. Oh, shit. He does know that. Man, when you know something, man, and you and you already got a demonic ass mind, man. Oh, shit. That muscle gonna guarantee all hell's gonna break loose. 
he's gonna guarantee it. So what are you gonna do? He gonna put the troops on the streets. He gonna lock this shit down. Gonna release no viruses. Hell yeah. Don't kill the teams in the border. They gonna put them in use. They already. They look like they about to get them guillotines. Moving over there in France right now. Damn right. <laughs> France is beautiful, bro. Yeah, yeah. What, France and Ukraine. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, Ukraine. France and Ukraine. That's getting hot, too. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I see they yes, were taking their politicians and putting yeah. them in the uh, <laughs> adjustment. You see that? <laughs> no, nah, no. Nah. They were taking their politicians and throwing them in trash cans. <laughs> Hell no. That's beautiful, man. You see those smacking them up and shit. Right, because the president of Ukraine put the next to I can't even say his fucking yeah. ass name, but... He's working, man, because he's he's trying he's trying his best to come speak with Putin. People don't even want to talk. All to the Ukrainians, but them all Russians. They, them dudes is rough over there. You know that most of the Ukrainians ain't even with them. With their government. Yeah, hell no. They're not even with it. They say two percent is with you, the Ukrainian government. And the Ukrainians, are not, they're not a feel, they're not afraid to kill motherfuckers oh, and beat the fuck out of people. Same Russia, same thing. Yeah, Russians. Well, like, just like Russia. Same people, same motherfucking people. Man. Hey, it's not playing. Yeah, Russia won't get their shit, man. I just seen two uh. Ru uh Kind of off topic a little bit, but Putin just came out and said uh, rap music is the ca is cause of too much degeneracy, and it's got to be controlled by the government. I have to agree. <laughs> Putin on point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, he, he ain't lying. No he says it causes degeneracy. He says degenerate. Yeah, they going crazy. With their they, they put a ban on it. They're not letting an artist perform in the club. Hottest rappers is bitches. That's fucking crazy. In America, the hottest rappers, yeah, who? Bitches and weirdos, Cardi B and fucking Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj, and then the rainbow bright Skittles. Well, is he gone? What you got? shall take away it's like and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols and they that consider to them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot for there shall be in every place in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord they shall be like madmen sparing none Ooh. but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord that's right that's right that's, that's, that's proof of that devil happened but a short time so he's gonna release the Kraken <laughs> I released the crack in it. <laughs> Shit. Esau gonna release his version. You know? I really, man, I can't wait to see when they release some viruses. Viruses. I know, you know that's coming. Viruses, newly created creatures. Creatures. On and on, man. Uh, 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 super soldiers. Cause like you said, Esau's a mass murderer. He wants to mass murder, murder by the millions. That's right. And the best way to do that's that right. is with that virus. That's so. right. He already put it out in the open anyway. Yeah. The fucking Georgia Guy Stones, man. Yep. You know what I mean? The fucking Georgia Guy Stones from 8 billion down to 500 million. That's crazy as hell, man. Five. So yeah. what else going to do that? This devil bringing in his, releasing his flood. And the ultimate flood is going to be that wall of fire that's covered. Right? That wall of fucking fire. The motherfuckers say, man, they got, they got a whoop, they got an ass with them coming, man. A spiritual ass like no other. Like no other. He says, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my... gonna be laid up in their home. No, baby, we good. You know, motherfuckers be laid up in their home doing their threesome, what they love to do. Uh, whatever their fucking orgies, motherfuckers gonna be... The door gonna get kicked in. Snatch right out. Yep. Kicked in the head with a motherfucking rifle, but, you know, yeah. the, the kid thrown through the window. Yeah. <laughs> man, no motherfucking Everybody soldiers. Everybody screaming and crying. Man, I'm kind of wondering, though, honestly, man, if it's, um, if North Korea or Russian troops or Chinese troops will actually invade this. Because we know NATO is. Yeah. You know what or I mean? Or the United Nations. Right. I remember it was a... Uh, That's probably the most likely scenario. I think it was United like... United Nations and Nick, yeah. yeah. I think it was like two years ago, a year ago, whatever. I asked Elder Gabar. They you know that, he used to do that live stream with question A. Question, question yeah, that was yeah. bad. That yeah. was bad. And I asked him, like, you know, is Russia or whatever going to invade? He uh, he got that scripture in uh, Ezekiel 38 where it says, uh, they shall fly over. I forgot how it went, but he said, yeah, they're going to invade and shit. Right, right, right. That's going to be beautiful, man. Cause there ain't gonna be nothing in this place. Any place ain't gonna have no defense. Cause World War Three gonna be kicking off, and the U.S. faggot ass soldiers gonna be dispersed. You know, stressed in all over fighting the war, Armageddon, man. 
be like that red dawn. So what, Columbus Finest going to defend us? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know? Hey, that's like that, what's that scripture, dude? That, uh, so, fuck, their mighty ones should be like women. Uh, the mighty women, the mighty women. Fuck, where is that? Yo, ain't that funny? But you got some, uh... I just brought them out here to laugh at <laughs> Those are, uh, what are those massive. Yeah. Those are big. We got like all carry on big motherfuckers. <laughs> those ain't real oranges. Those are them other things. Tangerines. Yeah, but they still too small for tangerines. Are they? Tangerines used to be big as fuck back oh, in the I day. I bet they did. I used to love tangerines back in the day, man. I always be getting a little thing. Say what you get your um, mighty mighty ones. Mighty so ones be like women or something like that. Oh, uh, Jeremiah. Yeah. There's, oh, yeah, there's, that's, there's, that's Jeremiah yeah. 51 or something. Yeah. Oh, let me just find it. Uh, 74 says, Here, O ye, my beloved. Oh, it's like I skipped 73. It said, Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Here, O ye, my people, and my beloved, saith the Lord, Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I, did, but I will deliver you from the same. Right, so we're the only ones out here pushing the hard fighting shit. The most I said, uh, eat the whole roll, so we're gonna eat the whole roll. That means you're gonna teach the, teach the whole roll, man. I got you know? I got it. We'll get it. I know, man. Go ahead. Just real quick, because I just gonna quote the scripture. We just read the scripture we just quoted. That said Jeremiah 51 and 30. Actually, it, it repeats it. It's in 50 and 51. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's a, yeah. I mean, really, you gotta read the whole chapter, uh, Jeremiah 50 to 51. Because that goal went to Babylon being destroyed. But Jeremiah 51 and 30, the mighty men of Babylon have foreborn to fight. They have remained in their holes. Their might hath failed. They became they became as women. They have burned her dwelling places, her bars are broken. So it said, what did it say? They, have, they, didn't, they don't they refuse to fight. Like he said, Columbus Finance ain't gonna protect nobody on that day. Just like when the flood, uh, what that hurt that flood that happened in Louisiana? All the cops, they, they was like, yeah, Katrina, that's it. All the cops went home on that day. They was like, fuck this, I'm, I'm out. Right. I resign. Right. I ain't right. dealing with this shit. You're damn right. But they never got their jobs back either. <laughs> shit. So yeah, when that day comes, yeah, the mighty men gonna become as women. They gonna be scared bitches like everybody else. That's right, that's right. And that was funny doing that shit, man. A lot of them wicked ass cops. They, they assembled and went out doing the mass murders of Negroes, man. Yeah, they did. When I when I did my of Israelites. And what's his name? Chris Kyle. You know that movie, The Sniper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he sat on top of the uh, the dome. What's that? Uh, the Silver Dome. Is that what it's called? The where the Saints play. Right. right. Is that the Silver Dome. Right. I don't know what's. Or yeah, whatever it was silver. called. Yeah, but he said he sat up on top of their sniper people. Oh. He said he, I forget the number, but he said he oh, sniping Jake. Oh. He's just up there sniping people. He, he was probably giving. Well, he's probably willing to do it. Oh yeah, he was a he was a goddamn Edomite. You know, LinkedIn though. Well, oh, he, he might have been a Jake though. Who knows? He probably was giving orders to do it or whatever. Don't matter. Giving orders or doing it your own. Wicked either way. Yeah, your boy's just a straight killer. He, he he enjoyed killing. I mean, the last flood that happened, in, um, that one cop they was interviewing the streets. He was man, they was in, they out there end up killing people, man. It was a cop. He looked like he was a homeless man. The, uh, the, the, Media walked up on him and talked to him, and he was just, man, they inside there killing people, man. And this was like two years ago, the, the yeah, last, last year, the big ass hurricane that hit. Yeah. That fucked shit up from Florida to fucking Houston. Man. Yeah, fuck shit up, man. He was like, yeah, they in there killing people, man. I'm like, damn. A fucking cop, a faggot ass cop. Yeah, these cops ain't shit, man. They're a bunch of faggots. Their time is nothing. Their time is straight up nothing. That bunch of fucking faggots. But you know what? Really, the Lord's the one that set them up, though, so. Yeah. It is what it is. Um, this is Jeremiah. Oh, shit. This is Jeremiah 50 and 9. For lo, I will raise and come up and cause to come up against Babylon. And a, no, that's not what I want. But you know what? That whole chapter though go yeah, into it. Whole thing. Didn't you just read 50? 51. They just similar though. You know I'm gonna read it. Yeah, that's more. Yeah, read it. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country. An assembly of great nations from the north country. So you know that's Russia right there dealing with that north country. You know what I mean? They gonna come. They gonna bring that fire to missiles. 
and they shall and they shall set themselves in array against her from thence she shall be taken their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man none oh their arrow oh my fault so the them arrows is going to be shot as those missiles and it, it ain't none of them going to return it, it's shot by an expert it ain't on the russian missile launcher bro what, what's the what's the title of a missile launcher the expert missile launcher uh, you know they probably got some kind of uh, job title, right? A nuclear specialist. I don't know what. I would called. like to know. Though. Yeah, I yeah, right. Like that's a good, that's a good question. Right, right. Because you know they got to aim right. it and calibrate it, you know, and all that. You know, come making it, programming it. Yeah, yeah, program it you know? for the trajectory and the yeah. distance and all that. Hell yeah, that's what takes that takes years and years of research, testing and, and testing. Yeah, but now they is perfect now. Rocket scientists, like Russia, got it down perfected, man. I'll oh, go ahead. Russia got it perfected. Russia said they're going to be trying to add 100 more nukes before the uh, year ends. And that's good because of what Trump said. Yeah. As Trump said, he's doing away with the nuclear treaty. And that pissed off the president. So now they got a new nuclear arms race. You know America's about to be, be burned by missiles, right? It's going to be beautiful. Everything going to be burning. All two-thirds going to be out here burning. You're going to be melting. Y'all gonna be crying and screaming. We gonna be laughing. Ah, ah. I don't know what it is. That was that was. Uh, <laughs> what, what is that on? <laughs> it's air. Don't look at it too much. We might get turned to stone. That's crazy, man. That's goddamn. That's a gorgon. That is crazy, man. That is fucking crazy, man. The rock him. Oh shit. That's That's crazy, man. These motherfuckers out here, man. The night of the living dead. That's straight, that's straight up what it is, man. That's a motherfucker, yeah. That's, that's some the other shit. Dead. I think they might. Them, them zombies got more style. Them motherfuckers look in the mirror and see nothing wrong, man. <laughs> they thought I was fly. Like, oh, I'm good to go now. Yeah, let me add another. Let me add another bar here and there. She probably saved up money to get them things. That is crazy, man. That is crazy, man. <laughs> well, Kenny Rogers. <laughs> I just feel like crying on people today. The oboe. Big oboe. <laughs> that is crazy, man. Oh. And shall be that shall be a spoil. All that spoil her shall be satisfied, said the Lord. Hey, Chaldees shall be a spoil. So, child, that represents America because of uh, the Chaldees, you know, the Babylonian uh, witchcraft, magicians, sorcerers. Chaldees. I mean, that's where the, uh, the so called Illuminati, all these secret societies, that's where they get all their knowledge and wisdom from. That's all that ancient Babylonian witchcraft. Oh, the Albert Pike, the 33rd degree Freemason. He said that Freemasonry is based upon the Kabbalah, which written that Kabbalah should go back to ancient Babylon. There's a whole lot of winter storms in ancient Babylon. Oh, yeah. Damn, you see how fucked up Jada Pinkett is, man? <laughs> I mean, Alistair Crowley, he, you read his writings, he said it, he worshiped the god Marduk. And Marduk, and it actually mentions Marduk in Jeremiah 50 or 51. It says Merodach. But that's that's their top guy, which is another name for Baal. Another name for Horus or Baal, Zeus. It's all the same shit. It says, because ye have, because ye were glad because ye rejoiced, O ye destroyers of my heritage, because ye are grown fat as the heifer and grass and color Right, because Esau here in America, they destroyed the Lord's heritage, which is Israel. And look at you can see they destroyed. The people gone out here. Your mother shall be sour confounded. She that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hiddenmost of the nation shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited. 
but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goes by Babylon shall be astonished and missing from the land. Right, so this place is going to be totally and utterly destroyed. Ain't going to be a single person remaining up in this son of a bitch. That's, man, it's going to be a perfect destruction. Perfect destruction. So I got a scripture for that too. I got precepts. that from my memory banks. What the fuck is that? Did you see that? That shit on her leg? No. This bitch has some shit on her. Oh, I see. You see it from here. Bounce it. Oh, my God. Like a tumor or some shit. What the fuck? Like a tumor or some shit. May the Lord, bro. The night is a walking dead, man. That shit look contagious. Straight up walking. Straight up monsters, huh? It's my girl. Oh, the pretty's on. That's you. Kind of cute. She's living that good life though. Mm. Mm. Sitting on a fat ass over there driving. Bitch. You know the bitch can't drive. <laughs> they got all these women Coda bus drivers. Coda bus drivers, school bus drivers. All of our school bus drivers are all mean as hell too. That's why y'all better shut up. <laughs> they pulled the bus over. I went to the bad school, bro. They they start throwing shit at the bus driver. They be like, shut up, bitch. Keep driving. <laughs> they be smoking weed on the bus. <laughs> that shit was rough, man. I was actually kind of scared on the bus. Shit, in my school, it was beat up white boy day every Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> Damn, Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> this says... Oh... Um, Put yourselves in array against Babylon round about it. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. Spare no arrows, for she has sinned against the Lord. He gonna spare no arrows. So ain't no missiles gonna be spared. Russia got, man, we gotta look up how many missiles Russia got. Wow. They got, they got millions of missiles. They gonna shoot all the missiles. Wow. Cause they, they going for the wind. They not going to, cause the loss ain't a win. They going for a win. So the only way they know they're going to defeat the United States in battle, which they will, is they got to shoot all the missiles. They're going to hit all the buttons and launch all the missiles. What do they say? Somebody shoot a missile, so they don't shoot because there's a mutual destruction or something. That you can guarantee destruction on all ends. Yeah. The Russia's not thinking that way. They're thinking about surviving. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? They, you got to strike first before they get right. you. That's right. That's why they making them better defense systems. They making better missile uh, missiles defenses. Yeah. To defeat other systems. Yep. Missile defense systems. Missile defense against missile defense. They're that, working over. They been working overtime on it. America just been. And they got the best. Too. That's one thing people don't forget about. Them. Russia got the best submarines. They got they got submarines just chilling off the coast, ready for that that signal. You know, that's a lot of the missiles are coming from submarines, which is not too far. They real, they not far away at all. They can't even detect them submarines. That's crazy. Just think about that. They just tilling right off the Atlantic. Oh, there's just a story in the news that Russia's building a new base down in the Caribbean. It sure is. Oh, they went to, uh, they went to Venezuela too. Yeah. Venezuela's pretty close. You know, how, a missile take no time at all from Venezuela to America. I mean, Russia got missiles that can come from Russia all the way to here. All right, with no problem. With no problem. Yeah. So just saying, they're going to be really no problem. They're going to shoot from Cuba, Venezuela, from the submarines. You got the Arctic, whatever. Oh, they're everywhere. The right. Arctic, yeah. Man, man, Russia is some... Man, these motherfuckers are sneaky. It's fucking stealth. So stealth. Them submarines ain't no fucking joke. Tack, they got tax stubs on them. I wouldn't doubt if they done had submarines done come down the fucking Hudson River or some shit up in the Mississippi River and all kind of crazy shit. Right, right, you know what I mean? Right, 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 right. Yeah, this place has to go. Check this out. This article it says right. America's hidden war in Syria. Truth fake chase face fair peril in many fronts. Meaning, check it out. The, this ruined fearful city was once the Islamic State's capital, a showcase of this prolific and a magnet for foreign fighters from around the globe. Uh, this article is about America. They done, they're, they're in Syria permanently now. That's what it's talking about. 
I just seen turkey was about to go into Syria too. Let so. me show you this map. This map is showing the U.S. control. Man, how can you just go into a people nation, a country, and just take down this shit? That's crazy, man. They control all that shit. Okay. Crap. Yeah, fuck it up. Like they control all that, man. Is that America? That's America's control. Man. They just went in and just took that shit, man. And now they're there permanently. That's fucking crazy. That is crazy. What's that, General Wesley Clark? He told you that was gonna happen. Well, ten years ago, there he put. There's a video he put. Uh, he did an interview and he told. Everybody, what order the United States was going to go in the Middle East and take each country down. He said it was a plan from the start. They planned, they planned this shit out years ago. They said they were there indefinitely. Because Syria, after Syria, Iran is the last one. Oh, they yeah, Iran, that's the last one left. First, they got control of Syria because Syria is uh, Syria's allies with Iran or Iran. Iran. I think that's how you're supposed to say it. Persia. Persia. Elam. Uh, the commitment is small. A few thousand troops who were first sent to Syria three years ago to help the Syrian Kurds in the small state. President Donald Trump indicated March that the troops would be brought home into the battle of Jamal. The latest military push to reject the group from its front popular territory recently got underway in September. Our administration switched course saying the troops would stay in Syria pending the overall settlement to the Syrian war and with no mission to act as bulwark against Iran's expanding, expanding influence. That decision put U.S. troops in overall control, perhaps indefinitely. Indefinitely. So they're saying balance. Balance. <laughs> and they still ain't came back from Afghanistan yet. Oh yeah, they heard them. right now. They hold emergency meetings in Afghanistan. Some going on in Afghanistan, man. Them, them troops get their ass whipped. Some motherfuckers came up missing. Something's going on, man. Bro, in the, Afghanistan. A lot of soldiers are getting killed over there. They getting fucked up. Yeah, they getting fucked up over there. You got them motherfucking Afghanis. They ain't no joke. They've been living in the mountains and the rocks their whole life. Shh. No electricity. Shh. They don't. They rough. Living on the dirt. Pile. And you got these little city boys going out of there from America. Little soft hands. Bro, they, they tearing your ass up. Tearing them up. They heard right now they're holding emergency meetings right now of what's going on in Afghanistan. So this is a lot of shit they reach the media. Just think how rough them dudes are there in Afghanistan. Oh, I, Afghanistan. You know they rough. Right? Yeah, anywhere. That's all they face with a hard life. A hard life. America, right? They bomb uh, Somalia. Yes, it's Somalia. <laughs> They need to bomb them a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, them motherfuckers are ugly. <laughs> <laughs> they need to bomb them some more. Oh, shit. They slipping on uh, somebody. <laughs> There's some jakes over there, though. Yeah. You know, they, 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 they need bomb, too. I was just about to, I was just about to say that. <laughs> crazy as hell, man. Shit, they need to bomb this motherfucker, shit. Hey, this going to get the ultimate bombing, though. This going to get it. This shit gonna get a, bl a blanket. But that carpet bombing, this shit getting a blanket. So what's the one I'm reading is this is what's gonna lead to what I was reading Jeremiah 50, 50 wherever I was at. That decision put US troops in overall control, perhaps a definite, of an area comprising nearly a third of Syria. Ooh, a third of Syria. That's Damn. crazy. A vast expanse of mostly desert terrain, roughly the size of Louisiana. The Pentagon does not say how many are there officially. They, but let me just grab a little bit. Yeah. I didn't realize, I didn't really didn't realize they had a third of Syria. That's crazy. I'm surprised Russia ain't really stepped in hardcore yet. Man, that shit's about to go down, though, for real. Wait till they go into Iran. And Netanyahu been pushing for that Iran invasion. You see that general, the high-ranking general in Iran, they say shot at you. Yes. On accident. On accident. On accident. <laughs> They said on accident. They got found. They got 50 bullet wounds. Oh, that's the worst case of suicide I've ever seen. 
<laughs> yeah, they always do some, there's some crazy accidents be happening in the world. Okay, when two crazy accidents start happening to these politicians. For real. Oh, they didn't do like Ukraine, Ukraine, man. They was throwing politicians in trash cans. Can you imagine that happening? You go in that motherfucker, you throw your ass in the trash can. You know what I mean? How, how salty would you, you ever get thrown in a trash can before? You be feeling salty. I got thrown in the trash can. I was on a wrestling team, bro. They, I was a freshman. They threw me in the trash can in front of the cheerleaders. Forty thousand. That's an affiliate area. I don't know they got way more than that now. They still got the old ones. Though. I bet the old ones are still functional. They're not gonna waste them. Just think how good that Russian shit is. If you got an AK-47, those were made in 1947 and they still work. So that treaty that uh, America initiated for, uh, drawing for, yeah. those, that increased the nuclear missiles because those, uh, those weapons they already had deployed that would be on top of trucks and shit. Yeah. That's what they're fighting against. Those things can turn nuclear. They can easily yeah. turn nuclear. Yeah, they don't like them because they're... The United States don't really have shit like that. No, nah, no, nah, hell no. They really don't. They really is don't. It, that's them, what them, they uh... Really what that's those, why they started that treaty. What's that, them topos? Uh, two topo ends? That's, yeah. that's the big ones. That's the big ones. You're one. talking about the, like, the Iskanders? Yeah, what, but yeah, Iskanders. is that the Iskanders? Iskanders, yes. The Iskanders. And, that, and they got, I don't even know the name how, of the small ones in the Iskanders. Yeah, how the hell do you launch a nuke from a fucking mobile yeah. unit? Well, the, even America has a cannon uh, nuke. They had an actual cannon, dude. That's like some shell Metal you know, Gear. You which play, is raggedy as fuck, though. You need to play that game Metal Gear, right? But it's all about yeah, nuclear war. Shit. And they go into how they had, like, the nuclear rail guns and shit. Yeah, yeah. That's my favorite shit. I was good with you. Oh, uh, he didn't want to holler. Yeah, hey, he said it was good, though. Oh, I know that kid. Yeah. He's a... Not, he's a... He's a, some bad stuff. These numbers are all fucked up. So you gotta do probably just got out of jail. We can go back. Yes, uh one of my friends, friends. Fucking missiles, man. God damn. So they don't really know how they fucking rush them. Nah, I mean they they're not gonna tell them. They don't know they tell them. Even America, America ain't gonna put the info out there. Either. Hell no. They got a lot of scraggly shit too. But all that shit's gonna be used. I like Trump's attitude though. He's like, yeah, fuck that treaty. That shit's trash. We need to make more missiles. That's the right. That's the right thinking. You know what I mean? And man, Trump, he's a genius. I wonder. I mean, you know, he's really just a puppet anyway, though. So the politicians is all talk, no action. All talk, he be talking shit. Nothing never happens, you say. Nothing ever happens. God. Ain't about to shut the government down. Oh, man. What's that supposed to happen? It was supposed to happen this month, but they postponed it to the beginning of the next month. I made it. Shut it down. Shut month. that shit down. Yeah, it's coming, man. Shut that motherfucker down. Hey, 2019 down. gonna bring some beautiful surprises. Because he wants that motherfucking wall. <laughs> He's gonna have that wall. Yeah, yeah, and he yeah, said if the government yeah. don't pay for it, he said the military's gonna build it. Yeah, sure what, is that, what does that say? That'd be some martial law type shit. Yeah, because he can say that's a national emergency, so they're going to use the military to build it. Yeah. Yeah. Man, he just needed to declare himself emperor. He said to fight it like a motherfucker. <laughs> and just think, and these, you know, the Democrats, they're so stupid, they don't realize. Just think if they actually get him impeached, oh, that's going to piss motherfuckers off. They gonna, honestly, all this talk about impeach ain't never happened. It ain't never going to happen. But I did. It's but if it did happen. happen, though, I just think it's gonna happen. if it did happen, that could actually start some some shit, like some killing. Yeah, it's gonna happen. The, all these, Man, all I, these, I have to say it. It's gonna. Happen. All them crazy ass white people with them guns. Yeah, that's why. It's, that's why it's all hell gonna break. Them. Yeah, they gonna come start killing all these faggots <laughs> and all kind of shit. Killing all the faggots. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> they all a bunch of faggots too. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the in the closet faggots. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's coming though. Shit. That would be beautiful, man. Yeah, yeah. I hope, yeah, I hope they impeach his ass. Always talk on impeaching all these other questions. 
talking about when uh, Bill Pitt was getting his pro job in the beach. Man, people are actually getting locked up in this one, though. Woo! Like that Michael Cohen dude, oh, his lawyer. Yeah, that's what the fuck and your boy uh, Cohen, he's a Jew, but Trump came out and called him a rat. He's calling him a rat. <laughs> His ass, he got he got sentenced to three years in prison. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So if I was Trump, I'd pardon his ass. I'd pardon you. I doubt it, though. I doubt it. Oh, shit. The Bible? We, we, right now we're talking about the missiles. The missiles. Missiles? Missiles? Thermonuclear missiles. Oh, like, uh... Uh, like, uh, Where's the sign? Oh, show me the sign. Like this right here, missile. Oh. That's what's coming. Is oh, ICBM missile? You never heard of it? Yeah, my, my dad was really into um. Uh, my dad taught me all of this. Your dad taught you about that? Your dad was yeah. an Israelite. You got brothers. Huh? You got brothers. Yeah, that's why it's true. Please. Something on this. that is America is going to be destroyed. What you going to do when shit hits the fan? Chaos. That's a good, that's a good that's plan. A good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Take the train. Take the train. Take the train. I take it. There's nobody else but me and God, right? Yeah. Got a neck. I bet you it can. She slowed down on me shit. Suck the hell out of that thing. Yeah. I mean, retarded girls need love too, right? It's like, that's wrong. No, it ain't wrong. They're slow, man. They're Everybody wrong. needs love, bro. Wrong with slow shit. Right? Everybody needs love. I was arguing with fucking, I was literally arguing with a retarded person. She kept saying, we're going to come for everybody. Oh, uh, fuck. You got cussed that retard out. Yeah, right. Cussed that retard out. It was an actual retarded person. Oh, no. oh, she's a little hot. That's an exotic no, creature. No, right <laughs> yeah, that's one of them Persians right there. Yeah, it is. That's that shit. She's like a Persian. Man, they got some beautiful ass women over there in Persia and Iran. I wanna I wish I could go over there and just hang out. But we, man, he said we trapped, bro. Esau get to travel the world. We trapped up in this raggedy motherfucker. Esau can't travel like he used to be. No. Because now they get fucked up. You see, knew them, uh, there was some U.S. soldiers who was walking around casually hanging hanging out in Turkey. They got attacked, man. They was getting their oh, ass yeah, beat. Oh, yeah, I seen that shit. They got the, you know? they got the fuck me up. Yeah, they got the, yeah, they got the shit beat out of yeah, them. Yeah, because Esau's not welcome. Nowhere in the world, man. He ain't welcome no That's why he got mass he saw, he, well, he, he got it good though. You must just go to the islands. Yeah, the man just, just chilling, man. Just going wherever the fuck you know, he want. Go out in the middle of the ocean where he likes to That shit make me mad, man. man. You know, he goes where people ain't at anyway. We trapped up in this motherfucker. Right. And it's concrete. Cause there's a lot of, there's, there's a lot of cool ass shit on this planet. Concrete. Hey. Fuck. Oh, yeah, I'm trying sure to go right. see some fucking temples and some That's fuck. That's what he saw. I'm trying to go on some Indiana Jones shit. Man, yesterday they had a badass uh, special 60 Minutes on uh, talking about the Oko epidemic. And Ohio get, is one of the key pot spots that was targeted. Oh, but I mean, yeah. after that they had a special on all the plastic out in the oceans, man. And the Edomite who got the plan to bring it out to clean up the oceans. Yeah, I seen that. He, uh, man, that motherfucker hanging around with the wrong child, man. Yeah, Ever, yeah. Not Evelyn, but uh, the, the, the young son. One, yeah, he has to be hanging out with him, man. Yeah. You know, cause that motherfucker was man, he had no good looking dirty motherfucker can come up with all them millions of dollars to, to make all that shit, man. 
Nobody questioned that shit. Who, where he come from? I seen the environmentalists, they about to uh, try to block out the sun in a couple years. Yeah, yeah. Did you hear about that? They about to go up in the atmosphere and spray chalk everywhere. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> They're going to cause the ice age. <laughs> Man, baby, I wish I had a fucking. What's that? That's crazy. It's like weird, motherfuckers, man. Ah! It's like you went hit. I went hit somebody with like a, a clothesline with spikes on it. Weird, motherfuckers, man. I fucking need to get like a Goldberg spear that motherfucker. Right. Well, anyway, that devil made its big ass device to clean up the plastic in the oceans. <laughs> motherfucker just destroyed the fucking planet trying to trying to trying to kill up all the animals but he's the one that's you see a commercial pop up uh, 